Hello? Is that John? Yes, it is. Hello, John. It's Andy Hi. Snowden here. Are you well? Are you, are, you, are you enjoying your tour? It lives. That's all the world needs. <laughs> 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 well, you're now known as a, uh, a living legend, musical icon. Are you, uh, are you comfortable with that label? No, of course not. No <laughs> one would be. You know, <laughs> you know, it's just smacks of pretension or something that I'd have been looking for. Yeah. I'm not really interested in that. I like the work I do and I like being honest and I, I like having empathy with my fellow human beings, but I really don't go looking for awards in it. <laughs> Self-aggrandizement, I think, is a, it's like self-pity, a very serious enemy. Yeah, well, I, 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 I kind of saw that in you, to be honest with you, but I thought I'd ask. Uh, yeah. Now, the, uh, the Pistols, of course, started in 75. Was you 19 at the time, did I read? Oh, there's been some dispute because I honestly don't know if I remember correctly. <laughs> I never really cared. I, I just thought like, I was young enough to be thrown in at the deep end. And yeah. I managed to s- learn to swim. <laughs> but I mean, if you were, I mean, you were you're obviously a, either a late teen or an early 20. That's. that's yeah, that's somewhere between uh, 18, I think, 17, 18. That's, a, that's astonishing. I mean, do, do, you, do you ever remember having the, the sort of confidence back then? Uh, no, it was extremely frightening. Yeah. And, 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 and felt very, very dangerous because it was so unprotected and, and, and the, the alleged adult in our camp really were, were mindless idiots. <laughs> and, and so we were kind of exposed to all kinds of torments and, uh, and, you know, yeah. elements of dubious nature. But, I mean, this is what you get in life. You get an opportunity, you take it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And go swim. D- so I you're... Mean, I, I, I've endured far worse in my, in my childhood serious illnesses that nearly took my life away. So... No, endurance course or not. Yeah, well, I, I, I by comparison, I read about your your illness. It sounded uh, it oh, 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 incredible, to be honest with you. It, can you explain what it was? Because you say you lost your you lost your memory. Yeah, meningitis very nearly killed me. Good I've God. been in a coma for a long, long time. But I, I mean, I got through that. I never really thought much about it. Yeah. I just thought, well, you know, that's what everybody gets around here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, the years later, I mean, I kept it very, very quiet because I didn't want to, I didn't want no self-pity thing coming in here. Yeah. But uh, as the years have rolled by, I think uh, I've learned to come to grips with uh, my childhood experiences in a much more, like, uh, serious way. Yeah. It left me with some really debilitating uh, physical ailments. Uh, luckily for me, it's, it's the brain took over. So, you know, have body, but have brain better. <laughs> yeah, and it's sort of, I mean, obviously that's, having something like that is horrendous, but it kind of, it comes out in your music, doesn't it? I mean, I, I've, I've noticed, especially with the pill, there's yeah. uh, there's a lot kind of, there's, there's lots of well, reference. Yeah, it's a life, you, you know, you'd be given the opportunity to analyse yourself, Come up with the right conclusions, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what pill is. Yeah. I have to sort myself out, and with a bit of luck, a few people out there may pay attention and correct their wrong moves. Yeah. I mean, but for such a young age doing what you were doing, and you were sort of, you were, I mean, you were, you were responsible almost for initiating the punk movement in the UK. I mean, was there no other punk bands before the Pistols? Of course not. So you were the first? Well, we never really asked for that title either. Right. I, mean, I think it was a melody maker that called me the king of punk, and that was it. Punk rock was, was began from that, that statement onward. Yeah. But then, of course, there were all those uh, revisionists of history who loved to look back and rewrite themselves a bigger place in it. So was you kind of making it up as you went along? Well, isn't everybody all the time? That's what life is. That's true. That's very true. But, I mean, something like that, I mean, you're, you're pretty much devising a new music I mean I... well you're doing it because you're trying to uh, be as accurate as you can to the emotions you're expressing yeah and, and you can't do that if you're following categories already predetermined by others yeah you have to find you, you have to find your own voice and did your death that's how it began so when you I never attempted singing up to that point because I didn't want the uh, the priests 
used to have access to me in, in Catholic school. Oh, right, okay. No, I, didn't, uh, I didn't sing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so, so when... You but... found a voice. It's any amount of effort, you know, you have, you have to educate yourself into the ways of the world. So learn as much as you possibly can and then go forth and decide which rules are really for fools and which are not. Brilliant. Brilliant. So when you when you uh, when you left the uh, the pistols to form the pill, did you? Was that literally the plan? No, no. It would never be my way for it to fall apart in, in quite such a disgraceful, mismanaged way. Oh. But that that's what happened. I mean, we were all lied to. Yeah. We we're all told different delusions, and uh, and 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 that split everything up. So oh. that, you know, like I, I wanted to move on. And I thought, well, I won't let that happen again. Never will I be allowed myself to be manipulated by idiots. And was it, I, I read somewhere, I think Steve Jones said it was sort of midway through the rock and roll swindle that the band split up. Is that right? No. And that's not true at all. <laughs> no, he's not sure. <laughs> 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 oh, brilliant! Um, can I ask you? My my, my show is uh, predominantly uh, stage and screen, um, yeah. but I asked I asked my uh, my listeners uh, what they wanted me to ask you about, and nearly all of them asked me. They wanted to know about I'm a celebrity. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of all things, um, well, I think I think that's right and all because I think that's uh, when people actually realise the real person that I am, rather than the. Uh, the negative mythology that the uh, media were trying to manipulate. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm just a bloke who gets on with it, and if there's problems, well, I'll solve them. Yeah. I won't sit there and, and feel sorry for myself about it. And I, I, I think that that's what came across. That was a, a bit of a nightmare show to do because the cameras were on us 24-7. Mm-hmm. And I don't think up to that point I'd ever got used to being filmed like that. Right. And so for me, it was mm, brilliant experience to to never ever allow myself to feel conceited or threatened by a camera ever again <laughs> and that's Johnny Sex Pistol talking to you <laughs> but you, oh, you, you, you walked out right near the end and hey, yeah and well they they were, they were rather cruel they promised they'd uh, let me know if, when, when my wife arrived in Australia and uh, they refused once I was in, in the jungle oh ok now, and we'd been booked on the Lockerbie flight some time before and we missed that flight and would be dead now and blown to smithereens but for packing luggage late so it's very very important to us to know that each other are safe yeah and uh, and I wouldn't allow my, my emotions to be manipulated that way so I, I just basically told them where to shove it <laughs> well, I mean, I, I heard uh, I heard the other day about the Lockerbie thing, and I thought that must yeah. play on your mind forever. Yeah, that... yeah, but you can't you can't torment people that way. Where's the pleasure in that? No, uh, no. they were causing me great, great pain, and and that, that's if, if that's what amuses viewers. Well, you know, pick no. the wrong bloke. <laughs> yeah, were you were you aware that you were favourite to win when you left? No, as what I didn't don't view these things as a competition. <laughs> They've been asking me for years to, to partake in it, but yeah. I mean, finally, I found a bunch of charities that I wanted to send some money to that were worthy, and yeah. that's why I did it. So you gave all, all you gave all your your fee. Yeah, no, I could have done with the money at the time. It might help reform pill, but I felt it would be like taking blood money. Yeah, you know, uh. like that. I, I just uh, uh, there's, there's a decency in me that I can't allow to be profiteering off something so silly. <laughs> Well, I, I thought you um, I thought you were a, a genius choice for for the show to take on, and I mean afterwards, I mean the nature of it somewhat. I've noticed a lot of the people after, you know, yeah, they they developed different uh, skills, shall we say? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've played it simple. If I see a rat in the camp, I'm killing it because <laughs> I know, I know what eats rats, and I know they can they can seriously challenge my life. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but you became a, a bit of a nature enthusiast afterwards. I hear. Oddly enough, yeah, I, I, I suppose it's always been there. But I use the opportunity, you know, to wander around and 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 not feel frightened by the blizzard of insects and snakes and God knows what. Yeah. And I just, I just calmed down, and then 
I found I found the beasties of the wilderness section. He accepted me. Right, okay. You know? <laughs> Not running around hysterically screaming and moaning about chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. Can I, can I ask you before you go, uh, the World Cup's coming up? I, I don't know if I'd be caring too much about it. No, I, I don't like that, that, that side of soccer. I, I, like, I like it to be uh, local. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Support my local team and that's it. And as for these superstar uh, groupings, I never find it very interesting. I never, I never agree with the management of it or the team choices or anything. So why bother? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. I, I, a lot of people feel that way. They, but you're, you're an Arsenal fan, yeah. Yeah. Was you pleased when no, Wenger we're left? Very happy. We've got we've got our team back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Simon Hall. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and that, that kind of stagnation was so disgusting and damaging, and yeah. and almost belligerent in its refusal to see the bleeding obvious. You yeah. Know? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and the way the way the world's turning at the moment. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I view Jeremy Corbyn as a wenger, right? I was wondering when you were going to mention. <laughs> yeah, well, he's allegedly an Arsenal supporter too. So All right. I say good riddance. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it like it is. <laughs> Tell it like it is. Absolutely. And one last thing: you're a you're American citizen now. Yeah, I have been for years. Yeah, so does that mean that you're not a British citizen, or can you be both? No, not at all, no. I, I found myself in the odd position of being both British, Irish, and American. God. Right? right God okay. knows how that happened, but yeah. there it is, you know. All right. Oddly enough, uh, some people seem to like me, <laughs> regardless <laughs> of what you read. Yes, I know. Well, I've, I've, never, I've never really uh, taken much notice of what other people say. On anything, to be honest with you. Yeah, well, gossip is the ruination of the modern world, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely. It's usually always negative. In fact, that'd be my advice to the world. As soon as you hear someone go, don't say I told you, but yeah. stop listening. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> stop them right there. <laughs> yeah. uh, no good can come of it. <laughs> Let me ask you about uh, Jesus Christ Superstar before you go. Oh, that... Well, I made a glorious effort there, but uh, somebody shafted us in the last week. Yeah, you know? I know. Promote a, promote a backed out. I, I wasn't getting on too famously with it, one of the writers. <laughs> <laughs> which, it it which? would have been spectacular, though. <laughs> yeah, it would have. Really put some effort into that. Yeah, I yeah. took a, quite a chunk out of, out of public image time to really, really go into that. Right. Because it, to me, it, it's, it's an opportunity lost. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I, mean, it's, it's, I know, I know theatre production and, and music and how they're done, and I was fascinated with it. So the, all my um, contempt for that art form really uh, went out the window, and I, I really learned to respect the teamwork these people put in. They genuinely do help each other. Yeah. And so I found theatre world to be a, a really, really friendly place. Yes, can be. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. can be. But, yeah. You know, that's what I got from it. I got, I got a positive. Well, I'll tell you something that uh, my brother was um, on the British leg of that tour, and yeah. um, and he he was uh, actually understudy to Herod. Uh -huh. So if you'd have, if you'd have come to America, he would have been your understudy. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> Uh, John, it's been a pleasure speaking to you, mate. Opportunity, but there you go. I mean, that's the world, you know. They judge us negative, and uh, yeah, and, and so they get negative results. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, uh, it's been it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. Thanks ever so much for your time. Peace. May the world rise. Enemies always be behind you. May the scatter flat to batter and shatter. Take it easy, mate. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, John. Peace. Thanks, mate. Bye bye.
So there you go, celebrating the 40th anniversary with a tour around uh, the UK and Europe and Japan. That is The Pill with John Lydon and they will be coming to Wrexham's William Aston Hall on the 24th of June. That's just a couple of weeks' time. Tickets £26.50. Book now. 0844 888 Go see anything at the William Aston Hall. There you go. It's the Andy Snowden Radio Show. Show. 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 